shit. One of Atlanta's most wanted murder suspects is now behind bars. He's accused of killing this woman who disappeared two years ago. Channel 2's Michael Seiden is live in Bartow County. And Michael, you He's talked to her mother after that suspect tried to escape mm. from police on a jet ski. Yeah, when you jet story, you know, he fled from police on a jet ski. Does not bring her any happiness at all. Instead, she told me she is focused on the next step in getting justice for her daughter. Meantime, it was Friday out here at Alatoona Lake. That's when authorities say they spotted this accused killer on a jet ski. They claim he was drunk and then there was a chase. There are absolutely no words that I could describe. The agony that i feel daily considered one of atlanta's most wanted murder suspects 30 shit <laughs> man i would go well you know, well, but, you know, well. but you know what I, I will say this it's been oh because there was a stretch where y'all were killing us it was a while it feels like a while ago now i gotta say you know what i mean green light yeah. time calling it now <laughs> but but there I, there was a period where these son men were killing umbridos, random like umbridos working, mm -hmm. and and it, it kind of tapered off. You know, I haven't heard it in a while, but it is what it is. I don't think it's tapered off. I think that's just like a blind spot. You know, um, in the reporting. Um, no, nah, I just think that like maybe like. You the just, rates of stuff are like consistent year after year, right? Yeah, like the yeah. There. It, it just, well, it just maybe you're not noticing this. No. Well, I, I guess let me be more exact. Then the news, the stories we've come across, we were coming yeah, across a lot stories. of something. Yeah, no, they've been they've been whacking like this. This chick was she was dating this chick was dating that guy. Um, this chick was dating that guy. Um, yeah, man, that's, that's so, so. Are the umbridos are they also called dirt dolphins or what are they called? Y'all um, kicked this coverage, y'all kicked this coverage. Yeah, we gotta come up with a name for, for that, man. Davey, considered one of Atlanta's most wanted murder suspects, 31 year old Steve Oboite is now under arrest and facing charges for his alleged role in the 2022 murder of 24 year old. Alani Lenore. The fact that he was found on jet skis having a jolly good time um, is probably the most hurtful part of all of this. Investigators with the Department of Yeah, Natural man, some man out there doing jet ski, I'm gonna fuck. I think, I'm gonna take this one. I think he hates him. I see the last name. It's very, I'm gonna take this one, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna not read it and just go out for a ride on the lake. He was just frolicking on the jet ski. And we can we can actually swim we can actually swim. Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all are swimming so all the, all the Haitians have evolved. <laughs> no, no. We always knew how to swim. But the sun and some people don't typically swim though. Obviously. Caribs, caribs. Caribbeans. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I, I always heard that though. Some people don't like swimming or some shit. Nah, Caribbeans. That's African Americans. <laughs> oh, okay. So you guys are like Latino, some people. Gotcha. Yep. To say it was just before 4 30 Friday afternoon when two game wardens spotted a Boite riding on a jet ski in a no wake zone on Alatoona Lake in Bartow County. So investigators say after they stopped the suspect out here on the lake, they got suspicious. They thought he was maybe drunk. That's when they asked for his ID, but instead of handing it over, he took off, eventually made it to shore, and then he ran through the woods. Authorities eventually caught up to him and took him into custody. Oboite and Deontay Reynolds, who has been in jail since 2020. Damn. She was messing with the goddamn dark side. <laughs> You uh, like these Mad Max looking niggas. <laughs> it's a common look these days. Wow. Both charged with murder. A third suspect, identified as Nicholas Hendrickson, is accused of helping dispose the young woman's body. Lenore was last seen oh, alive on July 31st, sick, 2022. That's what we call this. Let's see what's thick. Let me see. 
Yeah, she had a motherfucking. Hey. Nicholas Hendrickson is accused of helping dispose the young woman's. Oh body. yeah, she working with some fun. Yeah, that's a that's a goddamn preference right there, bro. If that's I ain't why she got. Yeah, that's what drew her attention. Like, like that. That's a gift and a curse, right there, man. Yeah, it, it tracks us, man. <laughs> yeah, if you got something back there, you, you gonna have some sun men going full you speed. Got know your club. <laughs> Yo, I like that. Actually, that's a blessing and a curse, right there, huh? Oh yeah, nah. We, I like that. I mean, I like that. Like, man, I, yeah, yeah, I'm a sun man. Look, the Lord <laughs> know what I like, bro. I don't even believe in the Lord. You know what I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. yeah man they got a butt like that they need a surgeon general warning that they might die because the black man will kill what, what about what about you gladys you too or not it's not your I, yeah i'm i'm into that that's hot I, sure yeah i just don't gladys don't put an emphasis nah, on yeah, yeah they it, don't nah, it man. depends on it depends on it depends on who you talk to I'd yeah, say generally most speaking though generally speaking most, though. most care about the face and the boobs first yeah. for the liar. Yeah, but me it's I, the other way. Me it's the really? bottom up. Yeah, I'm what the bottom I'm, up. That's rare. That's rare for glider. glider. What am I gonna do yeah. with that, new guy? I'm just kidding. What? What's up? Sorry. No, no, I was joking. Oh, I, I, I didn't hear you. But no, no, most, most white guys. I'll, I'll, I'll just give it to you. Most white guys go like face, tits, butt. And most white guys like white girls first, and then like Asian girls second. That's like I would say like. Probably 85, 90 percent of white guys. Yeah, they go most most white guys are top down. I don't know. Like man. There, there are a lot of glider hooters. male coal burners out there. Yeah, you guys are hooter <laughs> lovers. You guys are hooter lovers. That strikes me as a breeder kind of guy. I'm a yeah, all woman kind of guy. I'm a sun man. Yeah, I, I I am kind of an all woman kind of guy too. I don't really I'm a sun man. I like hips, thighs, and ass, bro. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, I'm I'm a tit man. Though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a boob guy, man. But you know, I still like 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 that right there. That speaks to me. Like I, I that says something to my soul, yeah. bro. On the prehistoric <laughs> level, the hey. yeah, exactly. July thirty first, twenty twenty two. That's when her family says she and a friend met up with two men at an apartment complex on Peachtree Street. Lenore never returned home. Now, nearly two years she later, she met up with two men. Was she running a G? Was she a prostitute? She met up with two men. She met up with these Nothing dudes. Goddamn. damn. was last seen alive on July 31st, 2022. That's when her family says she and a friend met up with two men. Oh, her and a friend. It was a double date. Oh, wow. double date. Yikes. The dude double, had money, so, you know, just see and shit. A double date with Mad Max and Wayne from Top Shotters. Shit. Uh, Damn, these, they look like cornerbacks. Of well, what happened to the other <laughs> chick? Who else was involved in this? The other chick? Yeah, man. What happened with her, man? I mean, like, yeah, we got to find out, man. Lenore never returned home. Now, nearly two years later, and investigators are still searching for her body. If you could find wow. anything, anything in your heart for me and my family, to just tell us where our baby is. Yeah, you feel for that mom right there. And, you know, in the past, APD has said that they've used video evidence as well as detectives serving search warrants inside that apartment. They say it shows evidence that she did not leave on her own. There's also, they have said in the past, that there is evidence um, that a murder did happen inside there. Again, we are going to stay on top of this story. For now, we are in Bartow County, Michael Side and WSB tonight. And with the police making that arrest, we are a step closer to justice. For yeah, I'm thinking that double date is a nice euphemism. Out. And welcome back to the second half hour. The Factor Uncensored. Thank you for hanging in there with us. Now to some serious and scary business. There's all kinds of risk to consider when you decide to date someone, and especially if you decide to bring them home for sex on that first night. One woman likely had no clue how dangerous one guy would be to her after bringing him to her place after having drinks at a bar. My next guest shared their thoughts on this hookup that took a very dark and deadly turn. 
And joining us for this very strange conversation, we have with us Fort Bend County Constable Nabil Scheich, Lady McAllen, and CEO, Aid to Victims of Domestic Violence, Maisha Coulter. So when you guys hear about this case, we're talking about 28-year-old Blanca, and they didn't give her last name, and 17-year-old Muhammad Ali. Uh, apparently, McCaffrey what? went back to her. Muhammad <laughs> Ali and Blanca? 17-year-old. Apparently met casually, went back to her apartment to have sex. He couldn't perform, couldn't get an erection. She laughed at him, and he murdered her. You oh, shit. Big mistake. Big mistake. Yo, he just met. Think about it. Like, he just met her. Went back. I've done this before plenty of times, man. Meet a girl and just smash her and whatnot. That's real, like some man shit. Yeah, that's but, that's some people shit. Yeah, we don't we yeah. don't do things, bro. If we vibe, we gonna fall. Yeah, exactly. So it's like she and she he, he he couldn't get up. She laughed at him. He killed her. Yo, is this her? He yeah. he should be laughed at. What's wrong with him? Blanca took one look and bust out laughing, and that was her, her death sentence. Wow. An erectile dysfunction ain't about how hot the girl is. It's about blood flow and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what or, I'm saying? Or either, either way, no matter what, he should be laughing. <laughs> uh, apparently met casually, went back to her apartment to have sex. He couldn't perform, couldn't get an erection. She laughed at him, and he murdered her. Your thoughts on this, McCallum, uh, Lady McCallum? First of all, when you think about casual sex encounters like this, is that, you know, very dangerous in 2024? I mean, of course it is. It's always been dangerous. It's, uh, I mean, the number one cause for murder for women for femicide is intimate partners. So it's. Yeah, baby. Like, that was a dumb question. It's always um, meeting up with random sun men and fucking taking them back to your house is fraught with danger, man. <laughs> like, come on, man. Come on, man. Let's, I can't believe he asked that question, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might as well pay, uh, eat random mushrooms and see what's I mean, poison. That would be that would be probably more survivable. 